in a previous video of mine I have showed the degradation of the heads of this uh, Revox A77 that I have been restoring for I have replaced the record and playback heads and I just wanted to shoot another video showing the improvement in the frequency response so if you go back and watch that video you will see that uh, there is more than 10 db loss at high frequencies and now we are going to do the comparison with that state and with the new heads on so just a reminder if you are going to do such a comparison make sure that the heads are clean and they're magnetized it will affect the high frequency response where the headwear is mostly apparent so I cleaned the heads and I demagnetized them before shooting this video uh, the setup is uh, on my right uh, there is the Clio it will generate the um, pink noise that is um, going to give us a flat frequency response at the inputs and I'm uh, setting it at uh, minus uh, 20 dB and uh, I am putting the gains um, on the input to a maximum to have more or less uh, 0 dB on both channels then I am going to start the recording uh, I have freshly opened this Maxell tape so I'm sure that the, the high frequency response is partially dependent on the tape you are using so I just wanted to cover that part as well so we are going to start the um, frequency analysis from here and we set the scale to uh, 5 dB that every, every uh, line is a 5 dB increment so we are trying to be within within the two uh, given the fact that this is plus minus 3 dB roughly so this is uh, one channel it's all <laughs> already looking much improved like uh, we have the full spectrum available because uh, this is the um, this is the frequency response that is coming from the playback head as the record head uh, writing the signal on the tape so I'm going to capture this channel by red and I'm going to go to the other channel and let it set down a little bit and I'm going to mark it with blue so you realize that um, there is a little bit uh, frequency response uh, difference at high frequencies this is um, kind of 2 3 db i'm assuming that uh, this is partially related with the capacitors that uh, i need to attend on the single path so uh, that should be addressed next yet again with uh, default parameters um, pot settings and everything looks much improved by only changing the playback and record heads um, you can also see the swing of that channel as um, the averaging continues this is maybe due, due to a faulty uh, capacitor or noisy uh, transistor I have to go in depth and check it but uh, so far I'm pretty much happy with the single channel I'm assuming that this is partially due to the faulty component because it shouldn't swing this much it should uh, more or less stay solid like this channel so we will see how we can improve the channel and I will try to document it as well.
till den. Så vi går dit nu. 